It's now December, which means it's time for Christmas decorations and a ton of front page games with Christmas updates. However, I don't really have a game to update. So let's make one. One great, revolutionary, groundbreaking idea I have is Christmas Simulator. No, Christmas Tycoon. Wait, no, Christmas Anime Fighting Rainbow Sparkle Unicorn X. All jokes aside, I really want to make a snowball fighting game. One slight problem, however, I can't script, as you would know if you watched my latest video. But anyway, we'll try to make it work. Now starting with my strengths, let's just get some map work done along with some custom characters. To get started, let's make a character. And one fun idea I had was a two-headed flamingo. I just thought it'd be funny and would also look quite cool. I also thought a funny twist would be that one side's kind of angry and the other side's sort of like a happy face. And whilst I sculpt this flamingo, I'd like to ask you all to leave a like and subscribe. My last video got 4,000 likes. Thank you guys so much. But can we beat that this time and get 5,000? Anyway, with it sculpted, textured, and imported, it looks super good in game, and it's time to anim. Yeah, I can't animate. But you know who can? My bank account. About two days and 25,000 Robux later, we have animations. But, but no, seriously, I, I don't know if I'll ever financially recover. Please subscribe. Now to get this character actually into Roblox, it's super simple. All I have to do is... Hey, Ash, I was wondering if you could help me import a character to Roblox. It shouldn't be too hard. It's just a custom rig with custom animations, character selection. You may also need a working cosmetic, but it shouldn't take too long. I take that as a yes. And there we go. It's that easy to get custom characters into the game. So whilst we let Ash do some work on the character, let's get some work done on the map. I used AI to get some nice references for the sort of vibe for the map and what buildings and assets I may need. And I started with this market stall building. I really thought it would look nice and fit the theme of the whole game, and it was definitely a good strong start to the map. Next, it's time for a bench. Just a bench. That's it. Well, three benches. Next up is a house building. I think a nice house building can go a long way, as it can make a nice area of the map that's like a housing estate. And with a few colour variants, it looked great. Also, back to the character design, I made this buff penguin, because I just thought, you know, a buff penguin would look cool. And penguins, like, live in the snow, and it's a snowball fighting game. But as you can see, it looks awesome. But more characters means more animations. And I didn't say this last video, but if you want to play the game, it'll be linked at the top of the description. And that will probably be it for the characters for the release of the game. And I think it'll keep the two-headed flamingo in good company. Company. Talking about the flamingo, let's call Ash and see how the flamingo is looking. Hey Ash, how's the flamingo coming along? Sounds like he's making good progress. Okay, now we have the character work. I'm, I'm joking. The, the, the character's still not working, but we'll move on. Progress is looking good, and I still have plenty of time to get this game done. Yeah, that was that was three weeks ago. Now 23 days have passed, and now we only have seven days remaining to finish this game. And to get this project back underway, there's not much better to do other than some map work. I want to try and split the map into two parts, a Christmas market and a more housing sort of living space. This will help me decide what assets I need. So for the market, I'm gonna need a lamppost, some presents, maybe a barrel and some fences. Some trees will also help a lot. And as for the city area, I already have a few houses. And then in the future, some assets like lampposts and cars will definitely add a lot of detail. And making best use of the assets I currently have, you can see here, I'm starting to construct a bit of a rough map shape. And also, if you're still watching the video, and you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you doing? And doing a quick playtest here is a broken flamingo. The size of the map does seem to be fairly appropriate for maybe like a 12 player snowball fight lobby. One thing I've also overlooked so far is we are going to need a snowball launcher. We could do it so that the characters kind of scoop the snowballs off the ground. That would be very complicated. So using a snowball launcher will also allow for a lot more customization like weapon skins in the future. As you can see here, we've got the model, the texture, and then I've rigged it so that you could do the little slidey thing with the handle. Now the map is starting to come together really nicely and the snowball launcher is ready to be added. However, a few more assets are needed for the map. So let's make a stone park wall. This can add some separation to the map along with forcing the player's path around the map. Having an intended kind of way around the map will force people to fight and make it more difficult to run away. The map is also looking quite flat. So to add some depth, I'm gonna add some materials. I'm gonna make some basic tileable textures in Substance Painter and these will only be subtle, but will help add a lot more detail and will make the map look so much better. I also decided the Christmas market wouldn't be able to fill that whole L shape I intended. And so I'm gonna actually make a lot of it apart. This will leave a nice open space for people to have a snowball fight, but with trees and benches all around the place, it will still have some cover. So let's take the assets I've currently got and place them around the park. Another nice touch would be a pond in the park. And as you can see here, I'm drawing the pond on a plane to create that kind of shape. With a few details, it looks really good. As you can see in Roblox, it fits perfectly. With the pond in place, the next thing I want to do is add some little 
paths. I don't want to do your traditional simulator map chunky paths. I just want some subtle kind of dirt paths, which you can see me making in Substance Painter here. And uh, maybe let's give him some privacy. With the paths in place, they don't look very good when you're zoomed out. When you're actually playing on the map, I definitely feel they add an extra layer of kind of immersion and detail to the park. And no, we're not going to ignore the fact that the flamingo works. The animations work and look how good it looks. That is a massive step in the game and now it's finally starting to come together and get so, so close to finish. Next, Ash asks for two snowball models. He wants a normal snowball for the player to shoot and then he also wants a splatted snowball for when the snowball hits a building or surface. To get started here, I'm just going to take a sphere in Blender, use the randomize tool to kind of add a bit of variation, but only very subtle. And then in Substance Painter, I'm just going to make it white and then just paint on a few different tones of light blue to kind of give it that frosty look. And as you saw for the path and the pond, I'm actually going to be using that exact same trick of drawing on a plane for the splatted snowball. I'm just going to take a plane and draw a splatted snowball and that way it's very well optimized and it also looks really good. Now with these snowballs made for Ash, the game is finally starting to near completion. The next thing Ash wanted was a lobby. For the lobby, I went for quite a boxy shape. This is just because the assets are better suited to that more square map. As you can see here, I used the houses to create kind of like a border around the map. And then in the center, I made a nice part. For now, it will work. And because I'm doing this the night before the game needs to release, I can't really do too much more detail. If I do a part two, I can definitely add a few more things like maybe a shop, a leaderboard, stuff like that. But for now, it's pretty basic. Now with the lobby done, Ash wanted a particle. This is when the snowball hits something, as well as having the little splat thing I made earlier. There's going to be a particle that kind of shoots some particles out. I used Roblox's particle emitter and I basically just went with the settings and just kind of made this weird kind of like confetti pew effect. And then Ash tweaked it a bit, implemented it, and it looks really, really good. And whilst the character does look really good, it is not quite complete. Unfortunately, when you actually play the game, there's a few collisional errors where you collide with stuff you probably shouldn't. To fix this, me and Ash have basically gone and just redid the entire map's collisions by turning can Clyde off for everything and using parts to rebuild the map a bit more rough and this worked this made the game play so much better and that left the game complete this just left for testing we got a few of the minor bugs out the way but the game was running really smoothly and now i can play with my friends <laughs> yeah who, who am i kidding i don't have any friends so i pinged you guys on my discord server if you want the opportunity to take part in videos like this in the future join there this is how the game looks one v one hit yes got one hit i got one hit off we got one more hit Yes, yes, no, come on, one hit, he's one hit, yes, I got my first kill, oh my gosh, no, he got me, GG's, GG's, come on, yes, another, he last hit, he's one hit, he's one hit, he's literally one hit, he's literally one hit, yes, I got another kill, okay, so right now, I'm winning, all the fights are going down, holy, no, let's go, no, let's go, I just got a kill, I killed Ash, everyone's playing as a flamingo, why is no one playing as the penguin, justice for penguin, I swear this guy's got to be like one hit. I saw him get hit about five times before. He hit me. I might actually die here. I might actually die. Oh, there we go. I got him. Come on. There we go. One hit. Two hit. Oh, there's a guy there. There we go. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. Oh my days. I just absolutely annihilated him. There we go. Right. I'm going to go camp behind here. I'm going to camp behind. Can I? Okay. Got one hit. Two hit. Three hit. Oh my days. I'm literally annihilating them right now. There is. Ash is literally like jumping all over the place right now. How is Ash doing this? Game over. I got 10 kills. Ash got six. There we go. I won. The game is so much fun. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to try the game out, it's the top link in the description. You can also find Ash's channel there. So do subscribe to him. Goodbye.